Welcome to our daily prayers for Saturday, Boxing Day. We're going to be continuing to use our Advent prayer booklet. If you don't have the prayer booklet, you'll find the words in the description box just below this video screen. And you'll also find their contact details for Ian, our minister, and he can get a booklet to you. We will be continuing to use the booklet through next week as well. May I also take this opportunity to invite you to join us for our service of lessons and carols. And you'll find that tomorrow morning, 11 o'clock on YouTube. Do hope you can join us for that. Just before we start our prayers, let's take a moment or two of quiet just to still our hearts before the Lord. And we begin by saying together, the watchmen raise their voices and shout together in joy, for with their own eyes they see the Lord return to Zion. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A shoot shall come out from the stock of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots. The wolf shall live with the lamb. The leopard shall lie down with the kid. The calf and the lion and the fatling together. And a little child shall lead them. Our Old Testament reading today is from the Psalms. Psalm 147. Praise the Lord. How good it is to sing praises to our God, how pleasant and fitting to praise him. The Lord builds up Jerusalem, he gathers the exiles of Israel, he heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. He determines the number of the stars and calls them each by name. Great is our Lord and mighty in power, his understanding has no limit. The Lord sustains the humble, but casts the wicked to the ground. Sing to the Lord with grateful praise. Make music to our God on the harp. He covers the sky with clouds. He supplies the earth with rain and makes grass grow on the hills. He provides food for the cattle and for the young ravens when they call. His pleasure is not in the strength of the horse, nor his delight in the legs of the warrior. The Lord delights in those who fear him, who put their hope in his unfailing love. Extol the Lord, Jerusalem. Praise your God, Zion. He strengthens the bars of your gates and blesses your people within you. He grants peace to your borders and satisfies you with the finest of wheat. He sends his command to the earth. His word runs swiftly. He spreads the snow like wool and scatters the frost like ashes. He hurls down hail like pebbles. Who can withstand his icy blast? He sends his word and melts them. He stirs up his breezes and the waters flow. He has revealed his word to Jacob, his laws and decrees to Israel. He has done this for no other nation. They do not know his laws. Praise the Lord. So let us pray together the Lord's Prayer, the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, and thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, 
the power and the glory forever. Amen. Our Old Testament reading is from Matthew. Matthew chapter 2, beginning at the first verse. And the title is, The Magi Visits the Messiah. After Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea, during the time of King Herod, Magi from the east came to Jerusalem and asked, Where is the one who has been born King of the Jews? We saw his star when it rose and have come to worship him. When King Herod heard this, he was disturbed and all Jerusalem with him. When he had called together all the people's chief priests and teachers of the law, he asked them where the Messiah was to be born. In Bethlehem, in Judea, they replied, for that is what the prophet has written. But you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah, for out of you will come a ruler who will shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod called the Magi secretly and found out from them the exact time the star had appeared. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search carefully for the child. As soon as you find him, report to me, so that I too may go and worship him. After they had heard the king, they went on their way, and the star they had seen when it rose went ahead of them until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were overjoyed. On coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasures and presented him with gifts of gold, frankincense and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to go back to Herod, they returned to their country by another route. We're going to continue by praying together the prayer on the sheet, after which there'll be a time of silence. And that's a chance for you to bring to God the things that are on your heart and the things that he lays on your heart. So we pray together. O come, O come, Emmanuel, and ransom captive Israel that mourns in lonely exile here until the Son of God appear. O come, Lord of might. O come, He of David. O come, radiant dawn. O come, ruler of the nations. O come and hear our prayers as we wait for you. And we pray in silence. And we continue by saying together, promise-keeping God, all creation groans in expectant anticipation of the revealing of your glory. Even though we live in a broken world, we live with the hope of your return. May that same hope be the reason for rejoicing amongst all those who suffer longing for justice, healing and peace. And may we be so filled with hope 
that we work hard to reveal your kingdom's coming to all whom we live amongst. Amen. Eternal God, you have set before us the great hope that your kingdom will come on earth and have taught us to pray for its coming. Make us ready to thank you for the signs of its dawning and to pray and work for the perfect day when your will shall be done on earth as it is in heaven. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. May God himself, the God of peace, sanctify you through and through. May your whole spirit, soul and body be kept blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. The one who calls you is faithful and he will do it. Amen. I'm so glad you were able to join us for this prayer time and I do hope you'll be able to join us tomorrow 11 o'clock on YouTube for our service of lessons and carols. And may you know the presence of Emmanuel with you today. Amen. <laughs>